السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاتو بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم لئن شكرتم لأذيدنكم رب اشرح لي صدري و يسر لي امري و احدد اقدد من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم صل على محمد و على علی محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم و على علی ابراهيم انك حمد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. So, الحمد لله we went through a journey to learn Arabic language to understand Quran and Hadith also not only Quran. So we went through many topics, many subjects. So whatever actually basic. basically required to understand the arabic language or to understand the basic or, or to understand the sub uh, the sen sentence the part of sentence uh, we already have completed and this uh, today's uh, topic is the last topic uh, it is written at tamjiz at tamjiz actually we have one tashdeed here at tamjiz So before that, uh, we completed our uh, nominal sentence, al jumlatul ismiya. Then we completed al jumlatul fa'iliya. And uh, there are few other topics which are left. Uh, uh, you can go through uh, for these uh, topics in uh, Lisan al Quran, which is in English language. Uh, it's volume three. So you can easily study on your own. Uh, because whatever you studied, it will stay same. It will stay same, and these things are just explanations. So you can do topic by topic because already you have one concept. Uh, the furthermore, what I'll suggest you, uh, it is my advice or suggestion. What uh, how you can take it uh, either way. So just starting, uh, just start studying. Lisan al Quran, Volume One. Whatever you studied until now, you can repeat it through those uh, topics because Lisan al Quran, uh, the book which I referred you earlier, uh, it has three volumes: Volume One, Two, and Three. I hope you have. If you don't have, I'll share in the group, inshallah, after downloading from somewhere. And you can purchase online if it is available for Pakistan. It is available. Uh, In the markets, but yes, it's in very low quantity. You have to find out, but online you can find out easily. Uh, I think uh, it is available online for purchasing. I hope so. Uh, you can practice all these subjects. They have lots of uh, example. They uh, they have lots of examples at end of each topic. So you, if you want to, uh, if you want to have good. Control on that this language or on the subject, you can do all these exercises, and they have the keys also. So you, if after completing your exercise, you can download the key books and you can refer what you done. So you can understand uh, your mistakes and uh, uh, you, if if you know that you made a mistake after referring to the key. Then you will come to know that what mistake you made and why it happened because you have already concept. Alhamdulillah, you are doing good. So these topics, what uh, what are remaining, is not difficult to study. Uh, it is it just they they are basic concepts only. Uh, because why you can say why you why sir you are not teaching those subjects because those subjects are only detailed explanations. Why I am choosing this atamjiz? Because atamjiz, it is a grammatical effect. Others they are not grammatical effects; rather than they are the explanation of the nouns, different nouns only. So atamjiz, it is having a grammatical effect. That's why we have to study it. Okay, we'll go to the topic now. Atamjiz specification. Specification, uh, it is very special concept in Arabic language. We'll see how it comes. Aisha, can you read the sentence? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, ishtaray tu kilo uh kilo jiraman. Yes, ishtaray tu kilo jiraman. Kilo jiram, it's kilogram, as as we know. 
and ishtaraytu it is fail madi this file is ana ishtaraytu kilograman so i i buy it or i purchased one kilogram correct aisha yeah I bought one kilogram. If I say, <laughs> I say, Ishtari two kilo jiraman, I, yes, I purchased one kilogram. Is the sentence hmm. is clear? No, uh, something missing. What something one kilogram? Uh, if, for example, uh, I, I, I say to you, I, I took lunch. Mm -hmm. My sentence is clear. Yes. Because you are not supposed to know that what I took in my lunch, right? Yes. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. I can give extra information. But this sentence, <laughs> yes, it, uh, there mm -hmm. is something very necessary which I have to inform. What? Okay. Next sentence. Yazinu khat, khatami mithqalan. Okay, now this sentence, yazinu, it means wait. Khatami, it is file. My Fine. ring, the weight of my ring equals to mithqalan. Now mithqalan, it is, it is for weight equalization. Now equal to what? The, hmm. the information is missing. Sharib to kuban. Hmm. I drank a cup. What type hmm. of cup? For what cup? Cup you cannot drink, drink right? I cannot drink cup. Correct. Can I drink a cup, Sana? No, of course not. It means uh, I, I, there should be something in the cup. In, yeah, correct. Ba Water or any drink. Ba aini. So, ba ayabiu. Hmm. To, to sell. Ba atajiru. Tajir merchant. The merchant hmm. Zira Aini. Zira un it is actually one arm. So Zira Aini it means two arm Musanna, right? Yeah, Musanna. Musanna. So how you'll translate uh Baat Tajir Zira Aini? Uh, trader uh, sell two meters. Yes. Two. Two meters, good. Two meters of what? I don't know. We don't know. This means it needs explanation. The same mm -hmm. sentence, Hasuna Zaidun. Mm -hmm. Hasuna on the weight of Karuma. Hasuna Zaidun. Mm -hmm. Zaid became good in, in what? What is good in Zaid? I need to tell. Same hmm. Zada Kallahu Zada Yazidu from hmm. chapter Daraba Kafir Mafu Lavzu Jalala Fail Zada Kallahu. May Allah increase you. It is the Kalima Doaia. May Allah increase you in what? Okay. Hmm. Still it's missing. Kafa Billahi Kafa Yakfi. It means to be enough. Actually. Uh, in Arabic language and uh, in Quran, full Quran, if you will see this, uh, this kafa, lafzul jalala, here it is fa'il. It is, it is always coming with ba zaida. Okay? So kafa billahi. Actually, kafa Allahu. Allah is what? Kafa enough. enough. Allah is enough. But Allah is enough in which way? So we need uh, some noun there. So, Ana Akbar mm. Minka, I am bigger than you. How you are bigger mm. than me? By age, by mm. height, by weight. How mm. you are bigger than me? So, it also need an explanation. So, Akbaru, it, it is actually Ismu Tabdeel. Okay? Yes. Now, okay. we'll see. Ishtaray to kilo jiraman lahman. Okay, now the clari cl clari clarification is coming. We are specifying what. Mm -hmm. So I I purchased one kilogram of meat. Meat. Now remember, in this kind of sentences, what we will observe, 
will observe a noun which will be mansub. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one point. Mansub. Mm -hmm. And second point, it will be what? Nakira. This okay. is the fixed condition of this noun. A tamjiz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diva understood? Yes, sir. Alhamdulillah. So that noun will be what? Mansub and nakira always. Yes. Sir. But I'll just give you a hint in Quran. In Quran, you will uh, you will observe the tamjiz with with specific with specific conditions. For what? For example, ismu tafzil. Okay. In Quran, you will observe ismu tafzil number one. And verb kafa is number two. And if any verb coming from zada yazidu, okay? These three, you will encounter these three type of situations in Quran. Other than this, tamjiz is coming very less in Quran. So in Quran, you will encounter, and it's mutafzil, yeah, it is used in Quran. Uh, Vastly. So, ismu tafzil, in ana akbar, I am bigger, af'alu, or the weight of af'alu. So, ismu tafzil, if any noun, nakira, mansub is following ismu tafzil, it is tamjiz actually, to specify it. So, ishtaraitu kilo jiraman lahman, jazinu khatami mithqalan zahaban, now the gold that my my ring, the weight of my ring equals to the gold. Sharib to Kuban. Ma anfil iftari. So, Sharib to Kuban ma an. Yani, I drank the one cup of water. Kuban ma an. So, this ma an actually tamjiz. Ba atajiru dira aini hariran. Harir. It is called. Uh, Harir in English, how you will call? Silk. Silk. So, two meters of silk. Hasuna Zaidun. Now, Khulukan. Khulukan. Ikhlaq. Hasuna Zaidun. Khulukan. Now, this Khulukan, it will, you will not, you have not to consider it maf'ul. They are not maf'ul. Because they, uh, because they are mansub, don't consider that any mansub noun will be uh, will be maf'ul in jumlatul failure. No. Now you know that mansub, it can be hal and it can be tamjiz and it can be maf'ul. So there are three conditions of mansub nouns in verbal sentence. Correct, Diva? Yes, sir. These are three we learned in jumla failure. Yes. So in jumla failure, if you see Mansub, you have to figure out uh, by understanding. So, the first, yes, it can be maf'ul. But now you have another option, tamjid. Hal is clear. You already understood how the hal will come. Zadakallahu ilman. May Allah increase you in knowledge. Now, in, in, in Quran, we, we always uh, find one dua. Rabbi zidni. Zidni. Ilman. ilman. Oh Allah, increase me ilman, in knowledge. In knowledge. Now, this ni is maf'ul, but this ilman is not maf'ul. It is tamjiz, just to specify that in which thing I want to get in, get increase. Kafa billahi hasiban. So, what does it mean, hasib? Anyone know? Uh, enough, enough. Sana, what does it mean, so, Hasib uh, in English? Uh, so to be enough. Um, not appropriate, I think. Hasib, Hasibu. One minute, I'm looking. So, kafa billahi hasiban, Allah is enough as a counter. 
mean Allah will account. Kafa billahi hasiban. Allah is enough to 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 make the judgments on the day on the final day. Allah is enough. Kafa billahi hasiban. That's why Allah has said always in Quran in many places. Kafa billahi hasiban. Don't worry. Allah is there to make judgment. And he he will make the judgments with the final results. So ana akbar min ka sinnan. Sinnun, it is actually age. So ana akbar min ka sinnan. I am bigger than you in age. Sinnan. So you can replace this sin with height. Tulan. Ana akbar min ka tulan. That I am bigger than you in height. So that's how at tamjiz comes. Always remember the main point. It will be nakira and it will be mansub. There are two other ways that uh, tamjiz can come, but it is very rare in Quran, and I don't uh, remember that until now it was there. So it can be, it can be what? It can be mudafilay also, but still it will stay nakira. So it will be mudafilay. It will be mudafilay. Kilo jirama lahmin, mithkala dahabin, kuba ma'in, Zira ay haririn. And now it can be with min harfu jar. Kilo jiraman min lahamin, miskalan min dahabin, kuban min ma'in, zira aini min haririn. So it can be mudafile. It can come with like min harfu jar. With min harfu jar. Now, where it will happen? Yes, it will not happen with all. It is having specific situation where this can come with mudafile or uh, min harfujar with min harfujar. Where? So we have conditions. We have scale to weight, right? So it means the in the condition of weight and another another condition where we are making this. Uh, there is one weight and other. How we'll call it? Uh, making uh, uh, there are three things we use in our life. Number one situation: specification of weight. So in weight, we'll do where we are making uh, weights, and in the second, specification of measurement. So the third will be specification of area, area. So we have three situations only in area calculation or measurement or the weight. In these three, yes, it can come by min or mudafile. Both of them can come, but mostly it will not come. Mostly it will stay as mansub and nakira. Others only the fixed mansub and nakira, mansub and nakira. So the, now the result is, it is a noun which is always comes as mansub. It specifies the vagueness or obscurity. Uh, it is always mansub and it is always indefinite. Now, we'll give some example. Huh? Was dadu tisan. Now, was dadu tisan. This tisan noun, what is uh, it? Is mafool or tamjiz, Aisha? Um, it's tamjiz. Tamjiz. Wahamluhu wa fisaluhu thalatuna shaharan. Okay, now another thing. With counting. With counting, with the numbers, after after the number, what we are counting, it, it is always coming as tamjiz. Now, salathuna, what salathun? It means 30. So, what 30? To explain this number 30, we need a noun that what we are actually counting. Salathuna so, shaharan, months. Salathuna shaharan. Now, this shaharan is tamjiz because it is. It is what we are counting. Salathuna shaharan. So in calculations, in countings, in countings, whatever we are counting will come as tamjiz. Salathuna shaharan. In Quran, it is very easy to observe 
after the numbers we'll we'll get one ism tamjiz and nakira fallahu khairun hafizan now this is jumla ismiya allah lafzul jalala mubtada khairun khabar hafizan now hafizan why it is mansub we can say fallahu khairun hafizan so actually this hafizan is tamjiz why it is we we're not calling it hal because khairun is ism tafzil always remember khairun and sharrun they they are both not on the weight of afalu they are they have been converted somehow and it it is actually ism tafzil they both are ism tafzil so always remember this both khairun and sharrun these both nouns are ism tafzil allah khairun hafizan this hafizan tafzil fan fajarat min husnata ashrata aynan as i told you counting istnata asharata it is what 12 so what 12 aynan is mansub nakira noun aynan springs so 12 springs fan fajarat min husnata ashrata aynan wakafa billahi wakilan now this wakilan is mansub only because of tamjiz as i told you kafa Verb always uh, it is having a mansub noun nakira it is tamjiz to specify that what does it mean kafa billahi in which way zar uha sabuna ziraan now this sabuna seventy after sabuna this ziraan this noun nakira wahid mansub is tamjiz. هو أفصح مني لسانا again اسم التفضيل أفصح لسانا this is تمجيز noun after اسم التفضيل it is منصوب and نكرة it is تمجيز of the uh, in the sentence هم أحسن أثاثا ورئيا أحسن again اسم التفضيل now أثاثا and ورئيا رئيا this vow أتف رئيا Asasan and Riyan, they both are ismu tawz, they both are tamjiz for ahsanu. Wa tammat kalimatu rabbika sidqan wa adlan. Now tammat kalimatu rabbika, this sentence, tammat fil madhi kalimatu rabbika fa'il. Now this sidqan and wa, sidqan and adlan, why these both are mansub? Because they are tamjiz, they are specifying explanation the sentence clearly. That in which way your Rabb's word completed? Huwa khairun thawaban wa khairun uqban. Now again khairun, khairun ismu tawzeel. This thawaban and uqban, both they are mansub. Why? Because they are tamjiz. Ya abati inni ra'aytu ahada ashara kawkaban. This kawkaban is, now this ahada mansub because it's maf'ool. Ahada ashara, calculation, 11. Kaukab, why it is mansub and uh, nakira? Because it is tamjiz. Kul naru jahannama ashaddu harran. Now this ashaddu is but tafzil. That's why harran it is mansub and nakira. Hiya ashaddu wat'an wa aqma muqilan. Now this again is because of ism tafzil. We have one mansub nakira noun. It is tamjiz. Hum ashaddu minham batshan. So again, this batshan, why it is mansub? Because jumla ismiya. But still one mansub noun we have. Because it is tamjiz, because of ismut tafzil. So in jumla ismiya also you can have hal. But hal you know it will be ismul file or ismul maf'ul. Okay. Waman asdaku min Allahi qilan. Now because of asdaku ismul Ismu tafzil is there. That's why this qilan is mansub. Zalika khairun wa ahsanu ta'awilan. Again ta'awil mansub. Because why? Because ahsanu is ismu tafzil and khairun also ismu tafzil. Walladhina amanu ashaddu hubban lillahi. Again hubban. Why it is mansub? Because ashaddu. It is ismu tafzil. In idda ta shuhuri in the lahi itna ashara shaharan. Now itna ashara shaharan. Itna ashara twelve. Shaharan, it is the month. 
So that's why it is mansub because we have counting. So what we are counting, it is ismu tawzil. Uh, sorry, it is uh, tamjiz and mansub and nakira. So that is how uh, tamjiz is coming uh, for explanation on specification of the uh, the sentence to clearly clarify. Now the same this al arabu ashadu kufran wa nifaqan ashadu. As I told you in Quran, you will observe ismu tawzil with counting numbers or uh, ismu tawzil because they are mostly used. Otherwise, I think only kafa is there where we'll find uh, tamjil. Walillahu yuzakki man yasha wala yuzlamuna fatilan. So this fatilan actually, it is also coming as tamjil for yuzlamuna. Now, yuzlam, why we are saying that it is tamjil? That yuzlamun, they will not be oppressed they will not be oppressed fatilan fatilan is giving a, uh, it is giving a comparison of of the thing in uh, mayyamant fatilan now what is fatilan i think it is uh, there is one small line on the on the date on the date if you open the date there is a small line on the date that is called fatil so any will will not be oppressed even equal to that uh, that small line so la yughniyanuhum kaiduhum shay'an here this shay'an is tamjiz Tam tamjiz of yughni then ulaika sharru makanan then makanan also tamjiz for sharrun waqtara musa qaumahu 70 rajulan rajulan again tamjiz for this because this sab'in we have counting fasay'lamu man huwa sharrun makanan again makanan tamjiz because sharrun ism tafzil and jundan again tamjiz because why ad'afu ism tafzil so that is how uh, tamjiz will work the last and uh, small uh, topic with explanation you will find a same noun same noun but with different meaning in two sentences how we'll recognize i'll just explain you we have sentence mina marmal jamarati this uh, mina is the place where we throw stones on the shaitan on the devil it is the place mina mina marmal jamarati now marmal jamarati yawm nahri same noun marma and marma but in both sentences, it is different with different meaning. Matla o shamsi jihad o sharki. Matla o shamsi yata ajjalu saifan. Arafatu majma ul hujjaji. Yawmu arafata majma ul hujjaji. Mawlidu rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Makkatul mukarrama. Mawlidu rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. Shahru rabi il awwal. Makkatul Mukarrama, Mahbitul Wahyi, Shahru Ramadana, Mahbitul Wahyi, Murtahalul Musafirina, Ila al Madina till Munawara, Murtahalul Musafirina, Yomul Khamis, Al Masjidul Jamiu, Multakal Muslimina, Multakal Muslimina, Yomul Aidi. Okay. Now, you are observing same nouns like Marma, Marma, Matlau, Matlau, but in both they are. Different, how we'll see. It is called Ismul Makan. Ismul Makan, it is related to the place. We we want to explain about the place. Ismul Zaman, we want to explain about the time. Now, same noun, but giving different meanings. How it is happening. And we have actually three different ways. One is maf'alun. Always remember maf'alun. Second is maf'ilun. It is actually not maf'alun. Maf'ilun. And third, it will be ismul maf'ul from mazidun fi. Okay. Mana, mina. Now mina we know it is the name of a place. But, so it means mina marmal jamarati. We want to explain the place that's why it is called ismul makan in this sentence marma 
marma it means to uh, where we throw the stones marmal jamarati yawmun nahri now this word yawm it explaining that uh, throwing the stones on devil when it happens now it became the ismu zaman same noun it is used as ismu zaman and same noun it is used as ismu makan because in the first sentence it is clear it is the refer to or it is the khabar for the place and in the second sentence it is actually mubtada for the time where we are telling the, the throwing stones we are referring to the time marmal jamarati yawmun nahar in second sentence matla us shamsi matla it means the rising of sun matla us shamsi jiha now this jiha to is actually place so we are coming to know that we are talking about the place that from where uh, the sun rises so matla us shamsi jiha to sharki jiha direction so it is from the east side now in the second sentence is matla us shamsi yata'ajjalu sayfan now this jihad jihatun it is telling us the side it means place but in the second sentence is yata'ajjalu sayfan it brings in matla us shamsi in the rise uh, the rising of sun when it gets actually it is explaining the sentence the rising of sun yata'ajjalu sayfan sayf we call it uh, summer that the rising of sun brings summer early and it depends on the timing of the sun if sun start rising earlier it means it is bringing the summer because our sun will get rise like uh, nowadays sun rising is six o'clock in qatar so in, when it's it's starting going back like 5 45 5 40 5 30 it means now it is it will bring the summer. Arafatu majma'ul hujjaj. Now majma'u, majma'u. Same, actually majma'un. Same noun, but different meaning. Why? Because in the first, Arafat is the name of place where the hujjaj get, get, get together. In the second sentence, it is yawmu Arafat. The day of Arafat is what? Majma'ul hujjaj, the gathering of hujjaj. Second, in the, in the next sentence, Maulidu, the birth, Maulidu Rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The birth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is what? Now, because of place, we will consider this Maulid as the Ismul Makan. The place is Makkatul Mukarrama. Now, in the next sentence, the same word Maulid is giving the time meaning because in sentence, Shahru Rabi il Awali, it is Khabar. That's why we, you will, you, we will use Maulid as the Ismu Zaman, Mauridur Rasuli. Yani, uh, the, uh, the time of the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the, the month of Rabi al Awal. Makkatul Mukarrama, Mahbitul Wahi. Now, this Mahbit actually on the weight of Maf'ilun. Now, this Mahbit noun. In the first sentence and second sentence, same noun with different meaning. Only because in the first it is referring to the place that where the wahi was descended, mahbid, mahbid, the place, it means to, to come down. So, makkatul mukarrama, it is referring to the place. In the second, shahru ramadan, it is referring to the month. That's why mahbid noun in second sentence is became as ismu zaman, which is Clarifying the time. Murtahalul Musafirina ilal Madina til Munawwara. In the second sentence, Murtahalul Musafirina Yawmul Khamis. Now, same noun in both sentences different. In first, it is referring that where the passengers are traveling. Ilal Madina til Munawwara. Because of the place, we will call it Ismul Makan. In the second sentence, Murtahal al Musafirina, Yomul Khamis. This Yomul Khamis is explaining us that we are discussing about the time, the when the uh, when these passengers were traveling. So Al Masjidul Jami'u, 
Multaq al-Muslimina. Multaq, it means the place uh, where we meet, uh, the meeting. Now, meeting, it is about time or place. It will, it will be explained by the sentence. Al-Masjid al-Jami'u Multaq al-Muslimina. Now, al-Masjid, we know that it is place. So, Multaq al-Muslimina, the, the meeting of Muslimin. So, al-Masjid is the place where Muslims meet. Now it is Ismul Makan. In the second, it is time, Zaman. Multakal Muslimina, Yawmul Eid. So this Yawmul Eid is telling us this Multaka is actually Ismul Zaman in this sentence. So that is how we'll differentiate between Ismul Zaman and Ismul Makan. And in Quran, they are very less. I don't uh, remember they are used. Too much, but uh, mashrik like mashrik. No mashrik, maghribun, mashrikun, mafilun on the weight of mafilun, masjidun on the weight of weight of mafilun. So uh, li like this, you, you will encounter some nouns in the Quran. But Alhamdulillah, you know that you can. If even I was not going to explain all this, you can easily understand by the meanings of sentence that what what does it mean? Is time or uh, place. So, finally, in Arabic language, actually, what we learned this this is the this is the final destination where in Arabic language, when we are going to study grammar, we have to reach. We need to know about these things. We need so marfuat. Now, I will try to get your brainstorming. Ghazala Yasmin, can you give me? Give me uh, the the situations where the noun can be marfu. Your sound is not clear, Ya Ghazala. Sir, it can be muktada or khabar yes, in a nominal sentence. Okay, next. Khabar. Khabar. In nominal good. Sentence. Next. Uh, then it can be uh, it can be uh, khabar inna. Khabar and, uh, inna. Okay. Good. Kabaru inna will be marfu. Ismu kana. Good. Then marfu be ismu ma. Manfu. Okay. So we have mubtada. Kabar marfu. Kabaru inna wa akhwatuha marfu. File we have marfu. Naibul file we have marfu. Ismu kana wa akhawatuha. We have marfu. At-tabi'u. Li ismi al-marfu'i. Yani it means if uh, in the ad adjective, if we have one noun is marfu, then the other noun will follow it as marfu. In Murakab Tawseefi, we are observing if the mausuf is uh, marfu, then uh, sifa will be marfu, marfu. So it is according to that. So, khabaru inna wa akhawatuha. And we will add one more that ismu ma. Ismu ma nafiya. Ismu ma nafi. It is also marfu. Now, welcome to mansubat. Ismu inna wa akhawatuha. Mansub. Khabaru kana. Mansub. Al maf'ul bihi. Al maf'ul mutlak, al maf'ul fi, al maf'ul li ajlihi, al maf'ul ma'ahu, al hal, al tamheed, al munada, mustasna, and what happened? And al tabi'u. The Ismil Mansu, same as Murakab Tawsifi. Okay, these are the Mansubat. We, we studied all, almost all. I think Mustasna is remaining. Uh, you can study at your own. It is very simple. Only one differentiation is there. So in Quran, Mustasna Mansub is also very less. Mostly it is coming for Taqid. Majrurat. Al Majruru bi Harfil Jarri. So second, Al Majruru bil Izafa. Third, at-tabi'ul ism al-majroor. So in Arabic language, you know, basically, the reason for majroor is only two, one harfu jar, second, if mudafile. 
So attabio, it means some noun is following some majroor noun. It's same like murakkab tawsifi. It will be in part of marfu'ad, mansubat, and majroorat. Now all this page, we alhamdulillah, we studied, we have completed. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make uh, it uh, easy for you to understand Quran, to understand the hadith especially. So please try to do practice on Quran. So inshallah we'll start uh, we'll start the Arab Quran lectures in a few days and I'll give the schedule and I already uh, requested uh, Sister Sabiha to add the students, whoever uh, they want to participate and they want to join. So please, the students today, they were silent. If they are interested to join uh, Arab Al-Quran, they, they are not allowed to be silent. They have to answer. They have to participate. That's how we we'll learn. We'll make our practice. We'll, uh, we'll understand the actual language. When we'll, we'll participate. So from me, it's over. Alhamdulillah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your efforts and my small effort also. Surely there were something missing or uh, uh, the delays were there. So I'll ask you to forgive me for this uh, these delays. And may Allah also forgive us all, and even especially me. If I made any mistake during teaching these subjects, may Allah forgive me for those mistakes. And uh, may Allah uh, make it easy for me and for you to uh, carry on further. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help, help you and help me during all our life for the Islamic studies. Ameen subhanakallahumma bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruhu wa atubu ilik. اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد امين يا رب العالمين